Hey everybody, DeLong Shot Signatures here. This is episode 11 of my TTM returns. And uh, I didn't, I was really tired yesterday, so I didn't do a video for Friday's returns. So I'm going to combine both Fridays and Saturdays. So we got a total of 10 successes. Going to start off here with Friday's returns. First one is an MLB success. This is coming back from a current pitcher, fantastic signer, and uh, Cy Young Award winner. This is one of one from Milwaukee Brewers pitcher Corbin Burns. Um, Going to get started on the 2021 top set. Hopefully there is uh, spring training this year because I've got some uh, stuff ready to send out for that. But if not, maybe I'll just have to wait till next year. But uh, really glad to get a start with a uh, Cy Young winner. I've gotten him before via spring training, and uh, he's still a really good signer right now during the off season. So I figured. It'd be worth uh, getting a head start on that with him. So really glad to get that one back. Then we have a hockey return. This is a one-of-one one success from former NHL forward Danton Cole. I believe he is also the head coach for the Michigan State hockey team. Been there for a little while. So uh, if I ever start focusing on college hockey, uh, I'll have already gotten him for the collection. This next one is a Hall of Fame return. Um, this guy was a pretty spotty signer for a while. It seemed like, you know, you had to take a gamble on it and there was no way you were going to get a card signed. He would only sign photos and everything, but it looks like he has changed his ways and is willing to sign cards and other items at a pretty good, uh, uh, rate success rate at least. And, um, he just requires, uh, $10 per and for a hall of fame quarterback, that's not bad at all. I have a bunch of cards in my sets for this guy, so I'm just going to split them. Um, so I included $10 for each of these, wrote out a check, but got six of six from Hall of Famer Warren Moon. So I tried to focus on the main base cards, and then I also got one really cool looking uh, 91 Upper Deck. Got his, the Collector's Choice Artist. Uh, I guess it was like a painting that they commissioned and got it added to the card set. I do have his regular, um, or his regular card in the 91 set. I don't have, I sent that out previously and didn't get it returned signed a few years ago. So I'll have to purchase a new one, but I uh, got it, his 92 upper deck and his 92 Fleer ultra. So I should have most of his base card signed. I know I have another six. That are sitting there and I'll again have to order that uh, 91 upper deck to replace it but really cool return there his uh, success rate has been through the roof um, ever since he's been willing to charge ten dollars per and that only took about two weeks to get back so it looks like he should be pretty reliable signer going forward and again that's not a bad fee for a Hall of Fame quarterback then we have a uh, NHL prospect he's already been drafted but uh, still a pretty good prospect. So this is two of two from now uh, Edmonton Oil Kings defenseman uh, Caden Gooley. He was drafted in the first round by the Montreal Canadiens a couple years ago. Signed both of these. Uh, he was with the Prince Albert Raiders uh, when I sent to him. And he was uh, right after that traded to the Edmonton Oil Kings where it came back from. But uh, he should still be able to sign through there. Last one is a really cool success. I've gotten a lot of messages about it um, since posting it on Instagram. But uh, this is a one-of-one one return from an NBA draft prospect. This uh, is coming back from Jabari Smith Jr. of Auburn. Now, when I sent to him, he was viewed as a top prospect. I think he was in the top 10. Now there's talks of him potentially going first overall. Um, if that's the case, that would be awesome. But if not, um, it still looks like this guy's got a bright future ahead of him. It's unfortunate uh, because the uh, the photos that I had selected, one of them didn't turn out right. So you, you couldn't even see what the picture was supposed to be. The file didn't upload correctly. So I only had one that I was able to send, but thankfully I was able to get it back regardless. So we'll see how he does. Then we'll get on to today's Saturday's returns. First one here is another current MLB pitcher for the 2021 top set. 
This guy has also been a very reliable signer this offseason. So this is one of one from Oakland A's pitcher Chris Bassett. He doesn't really have that many other cards in top sets. I think he has one in the 2020 set, and then there's kind of a gap there. Um, but he's an, uh, he is, uh, I think he's a recent all-star and starting to gain a little bit more recognition. So he's had a pretty good start to his career. Um, I do believe he is in his 30s, so we'll see how much longer he plays, but hopefully he can continue to play at a pretty good level. Then we have a golf return. This is a two of two with a note success coming back from Tom Shaw. So we signed both of these trading cards, and he included an index card. Uh, thanks for your interest. Have fun with your collection. I'm not going to count that as a signature just because it's his first name, but uh, still really cool of him to add that. We'll go back to baseball here. This is uh, from a former pitcher. I only sent one card, and I received back six that were signed. So this guy is obviously a very, very kind person. Uh, uh, kind individual um, and great to correct uh, collectors so we got six of one from Rusty Meacham I sent a 92 Don Russ he included an extra as well and then four other cards from different sets um, of course the 92 Don Russ was the only set that I was working on that I had him for and uh, so the rest of these will go into a generic binder of non-set but signed cards so really really nice of him to do that then we have a college football head coach bringing me to 49 fbs and that does take into the into account um todd graham who uh resigned i think today um so 49 out of 130 this is a two of two success from jason candle of toledo Signed both of those in silver. It took about three weeks. And then last one here is an NHL player. Uh, this guy would have been counted as a prospect um, if I had got it back before the 29th of December. But uh, sent it out, and then that week he was called up to the NHL to make his debut. I, I imagine it was probably for uh, COVID protocol reasons. And uh, he was sent back down to the Hershey Bears. But this is a 2 of 2 success from Washington Capitals defenseman Alexander Alexeyev. So I'd seen someone else on Sports Card Forum get him back signed. Um, again, sent to the Hershey Bears. He was called up real quick, but has since been sent back down. And so I got that in about a month. But uh, really, really, well, I guess it would be less than a month. Probably about three weeks. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Best luck with you guys' collecting. Take care.